right, so uh, hello again. Um, we have had a lot of success with uh, a video on making uh, rebar rings. Uh, that was a, an interlude uh, while I was making the giant uh, gourds or hue um, for the council and for the uh, Maori tribe. So six of those have gone, so I took to a little play and I thought what I want to do is make some chain links, uh, so tighter rings, and uh, as uh, the honorary title of Lord of the Rings, uh, somebody commented that that, uh, that that ring making was so impressive, so I thought I would uh, continue with that in that vein. So coming to the, the uh, man shed within the man shed at, here at Renaissance Workshops, and uh, I'll demonstrate how I might it. Now, this is going to be one of my latest sort of um, line of state of the art, my state of the art, the best I know of for doing a certain process. And there's often a lot of videos on similar subjects, and I'm distilling everything that I've seen and what I've learned by doing. So I'm going to turn a little bit of rebar into into rings. Uh, whoops, now this one I just discovered has no guard. So there we go. And uh, I'm wearing my plastic glasses, which is not ideal. So that, that, there, that there is a metal cutoff wheel that's very, very thin. And as long as you don't use it for grinding, it's excellent for cutting. Um, so, I've got a short length just for demonstration, and uh, the tool, the tools I now use for a, for a tight ring. And as a spoiler, uh, if you're not interested, go no further. But this is what we can make, and it's I'm estimating about a minute per per length, and uh, they're very neat. So I'm going to use that some of that for uh, for our hanging sign, so it'll support our our shingle out the front. So the tools. Bit of one inch and a bit of one and a, probably a one and a quarter, 25 or 30 mil um, pipe. It, it could be a rod, but pipe is more common and easier. So one of them is the lever and the other one is the, is the post, which we're going to turn the rebar around. So it's flattened at one end and it's got a hole in the other end, about uh, 12 mil, half an inch, yeah, nearly half an inch. So putting it in this lovely old blacksmith vise but it could be an engineer's vise just anything that'll hold this really tight um, and then we're ready to go we put the rebar in and this is 3 8 rebar which is a nice a nice uh, manageable size and just far enough in just so that it will lock in there and that bit will be waste but that's okay recycle so now i'm starting to turn it and it's good, it's good uh, stiff, stiff exercise, but uh, it basically, if you do it right, it's, it just follows around. It has to be at the right angle at the start. And uh, here we go, it started now. That was a bit of a, a bit of a slow start. I've got a bit of a pigtail there, but... So you see it starts to tighten in on itself and um, obviously if I had more space I could um, I could do it I could do it uh, with a bigger longer length and a, and a bigger lever and uh, was working perfectly on Saturday um, this one for some reason it's not pulling in quite as tight but that's a matter of um, it's a matter of technique I think how close you hold the, the pipe so I'll, I'll do a couple more turns it's actually a short short piece yeah there we go okay for the next stage which is basically to cut it so in response to previous comments, I will have good earmuffs. This has got a guard. I have plastic glasses on. However, just for the safety-minded among us, these may be marginally safer. 
I have had splinters in my my eye, so I should be very careful. So there we go. We're now going to just cut down and cutting across. So basically, then we'll have our rings, and I'll show you the rest. I get a little uh... so the other thing about the um, the tool is it's got a groove like about a half inch groove in it for for uh, for your bending uh, bending of rebar um, at this stage I'm just I just made a boo boo where I where I actually started the the, the bending but there we go there's the rings one ring to roll them all, two ring to join it, only as strong as the weakest uh, link. And uh, obviously, um, I've got a little burr there that uh, that I was not aware of. So this is not quite as smooth as my first video, but you get the idea. And uh, on Saturday, they were coming out like like absolutely perfect um, this one I didn't cut right through but uh, a, little, a little gentle persuasion and it should, uh, should break off it should okay I gotta take these because um, we want the video to be as short and sweet as possible so I find that uh, I was finding on Saturday that they just they can just slip in uh, like so, like one of those puzzle, ring puzzles. There you go. And I'll do another one. Um, and then we'll just, uh, I'll show you how I bend them to uh, straighten them up uh, uh, to lock them in place. So I'll take these off because they've missed it up. And... Um, Basically, I just put the, the rings in like that. So, that down there, and then I get my groove there, and I just go across a little bit over the, over the line, and then it bounces springs back, and there you have a, a pretty perfect um, little ring. And then the next one, and so, and now so if you like this video we're going to do more state-of-the-art videos state-of-the-art for specific processes that are cool useful and downright amazing and i think that they teach us a lot about what the possibility the realm of infinite possibility just by changing rearranging some simple forms so there we are a, a few links in the chain i'll add that and that'll be part of our our uh swinging sign for the gallery which we're going to reopen at uh, the front of renaissance workshops so don't forget to click that bell and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one as my friend says on the next episode